Here's something from the Reds and Brewers. Social media sweetheart, Ellie Day of the Cruz hits a bomb to center. Uh, nope, there's Joey Weimer who leaps up and makes the catch, robbing a home run of the first inning from Ellie. Uh, great play, timed it perfectly. And of course, the Brewers, inner division, had to do a little trolling here. He flied out to center, almost hit a home run in the first, but didn't. And you know what? I think Ellie took that a bit personally, because here he is, his next at bat. He's like, okay, I learned from my mistake. Try robbing this shit. And he just crushes one out to right center field. I gotta love it, you know. I'm sure he might have saw the message, looked up at the scoreboard quick. A little bat flip to add to it, make it a big highlight clip. And I know some people are tired of hearing the so-called glazing with guys like Ellie De La Cruz hyping up over every little thing that he does. And I, I do get it for sure, but you also have to understand... It's really the only way that these smaller baseball markets can have players grow and in turn had the game of baseball grow. You know, if he played for the Yankees, everybody would be talking about him regardless. He plays for the Reds. So, yeah, it can get old seeing every little thing on social media being about the same couple players. But at the same token... I want to see the game get grown. I want to see guys with big character like Ellie get a platform and showcase what he's doing. I get both sides. Ellie De La Cruz has also really helped surge the Reds. Obviously, he's not the only part. He's probably not the biggest part. But since he got called up, they went from a team about five, six games under 500 to a team 10 games over. So the impact is there in the standings. I don't mind if the impact is there on Twitter and Instagram either.